Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Um, I'm at our job at the moment and um, the, the customer's got a problem with uh, water coming down this appliance as you can see around the collar and um, basically whoever's uh, clipped, it's got, it's got an inspection hatch which is really great but whoever, whoever puts the inspection hatch back on has tightened uh, the bolt so tight that I'm worried that if I try to undo it, because it won't undo, that I'm trying to spring the, the clip, because all you do with them bolts is you just literally hand tighten them and then just clip it in. They should be, you should be able to undo it and, and clip it and uncl and clip it, uh, clip it off, clip it back on with no problems. So that they've had a lot of water problems uh, with this one. They tried to go to light the fire the other day. So I, I don't want to undo it from there. Um, basically because I think that, that the the actual whole thing's going to snap and if it does then they're going to have to get a new wrap round and um, these ones are, are, are very interesting because they, they've got these these bits in here and, and you can't get the baffle plates out without taking this whole grate out um, they, they, they've uh, this this baffle plate had actually rusted in there so it'd be a good idea to take the, the insides out and have a good look see what's going on and what I'll try and do is I'll try and do a little bit with one hand. And not many people know how to do these. But the, to, to get these, these out, you lift this up like this. And then you, you turn this around. And then what you do is, you see, you can turn it around like that. And then, and then you should be able to so you take it out like that. And then what you do is then you're, you can get this out like that. You twist it to one side. I might be able to do it with one hand, which would be great. So please excuse me the way I'm doing it because I can't get the camera into position to show you. So you literally, you do that because he's way out of time these do. Let me just put that down for one second. We're going to go into normal mode now. Right, to be fair, I've been really itching to do one of these because um, these are the great ones to know how to do. So basically you take this out like that and then you can put it to one side, put it behind you. I don't know how, obviously how big your sheet is, my sheet's massive. And then it gives you access to the fire bricks. And then what you do is you lift up. See, this, this fire brick is crumbling away a little bit at the side here, but it's not an issue. Like I say, it's, it's, um, it's when they... Um, and then what you can do is you can get the access to the fire brick. It's one of them ones that, as you can see, it's, it's, it's crumbled. It's, it's broken away. But that's not a problem, it'll go back into position. But can you see the rust on the top of it? Is where the water... Uh, this one, I, I would say, uh, it needs to be used more. So uh, um, if you ever get uh, problems with rust and that, and you're not using your appliance, you really need to use it. And what I'd really strongly recommend is that you, you use these uh, when we've had heavy downpours. Even if you just put a bit of newspaper kindling in there, it's really important to do that. You've got to keep... You've got to remember that these... These have, um, inside these, they have like um, uh, a stainless steel liner. And the, and the stainless steel liner has, uh, you can't cover the whole top of the stainless steel uh, at the top. You can, you can get rainwater cover tops. If you're not going to use them, then I'd strongly recommend, you know, not on a regular basis, I'd strongly recommend that you get a rainwater cover top. Either a spiromatic will do the job or a rainwater cover top. Um, you can seal down the sides that where the water's been coming down. Look, see, the, did you see that brick bit just fell off from the corner there? So, like, literally, you just and then all you've got to do is you just take the bricks out like that, and then you can drop this the baffle plate down. And as you can see, you can see the water's coming down here. You can see all the rust on the top of it where the baffle plate's been sitting on it. And then, and then, then what we got now is we can get the, this baffle plate out. Now we, you know, twist it around like that. And then you can, uh, to be fair, the, 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 if you know what you're doing, it's really simple. And then, and then above here, you've got another one that covers up here, which is completely rusted up. So we have to let's have a look and see what's going on. I can show you. I thought my day was going too good to be honest with you today. 
We had a great day so far. Yeah, so what we've got to do is I'm just going to put you upside down like I normally do, just show you inside here. You see that plate there? That's got to come out. So I'm going to bash that out and then that'll give me access to the actual... And then that plate comes out as well. So I'm just going to bash that out. Put you back there. Maybe I'll be able to do it with my hand, I don't know. You've got to be careful because obviously um, it depends how they put in as well. Because sometimes then, you see this is all rusted up. Because what you've got to be careful of, right, I'm just going to go and get my, my hammer. Right, I mean, I, I can hear the, the, the draft and everything. What I've got to do, so that's that's come loose but whether i'll be able to force that down which is really what i want to do and get this piece off mm, it should come down you've got to be so careful when you're hitting them because it just sends shot waves up through the actual appliance and and you really don't want that. It's, uh, the whole thing's just rusted up. Let's see what we can do with this. Be, as I said, you just got to be really, really careful because it's on the slated half. And what's happened is it, can you see all the rust on it? It's just the water's just coming down. It should have been done a long time ago. All, all I'd say is, like, cheers, mate, whoever did this last time. You're an idiot. Look at the rust on that. Can you see it? See that rust on there? You know, like, what the hell? Look at my hands from the rust. Absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna put that there. And now we've got access inside the appliance. I can get a brush up in there. I will show you. Let me just see that the rope seems to be coming off as well. Someone's put a gasket rope around here and it's falling down, so which is great. It's um It is, but I'll show you. We'll tidy that up in a bit. And um, there's my torch. So now, when you look up there, look, the access to it. But can you see all the rust on the side where the water's been coming down? And you can see more or less what, see where that rope, I'll sort that rope out in a minute. I mean, it's a good idea. Look at the rust on that side as well. Can you see it all? It's incredible, it is. Absolutely incredible. I uh, like um, But fortunate enough, we've been pretty lucky with this. Because I, I really don't like banging them when they're on slated halves. Because one crack and then that's it. But there's no cracks on this at all. Just double check it. Yep, no, nothing at all. I uh, like um, I'm just going to plug in my hoover. And then we're going to sweep it. And then you can watch me put it all back in. Uh, the customer's giving me the WD-40, so I'm going to use a bit of that as well. I'm just going to plug this in here. And the chimney's all clear. There's no issues with it because I can hear the outside, uh, uh, which is great. So we're just going to put the hoover on. But if you ever come across these specifically types of... Um, Wood burners, which I do quite a lot. It's easy. A lot of them don't even. I mean, this is the crazy thing about this one. I mean, it had an inspection hatch, and the reason why I had an inspection hatch fitted in the first place 
to ensure that you didn't have to go through all this messing about. But in, in, a, weird, in a weird kind of way, it's good that, that it, this has happened because it gives you the opportunity because of all the rust on it. But why they tighten that, that, that uh, strap wrap around so tight, I'll, I'll never know. That's a complete darkness. Inexperience, that's what that is. Absolutely experienced because I've had it before. But, uh, that's why I won't do it now. I'm still going to go this way because I don't know how to go this way. I've had it before where you, 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 you take it, you take them out and they snap, and then that's it. Customers to get a new wrap mounds, yeah, and then they can't use their appliance until it's in place. So, um, and that was just on a, on a normal referner, so, and so I, I always um, try and go through the appliance if I can. Some of them you can't. I mean, if we couldn't, then obviously we would have had to do it in the normal, what we would have had to do that way. And we'll just get, get rid of all that rust in there. And what we're going to do is we will we'll spray it with, um, with the, some WD-40 as well, and then um, I don't know why they've left that rope just hanging like that. I can't even feel where it was meant to go. To be fair, I think I can't even say that it was the, the sweeping it that way is made to go that way because it's, it is not. It hasn't been swept this way before. But as I said, I must stress, if you don't use them, then you've got to remember that you will get water coming down them and you will get rust spots. And, and the other thing, you need to sort them out ASAP as soon as you see rust, to be fair. I get a lot of people that, that they leave it and then it's, it's a, you, make, you make it a, a lot worse than what it will be. But fortunate, uh, this customer is dealing with me today, so. I can, I can sort it all out. I've got the experience and the, and the knowledge of many years with these. And I wanted to do one of these, to be fair, because it's um, because I come across them sometimes, and so many people don't know how to do them. They end up breaking the side bricks just to drop that baffle plate down because it should be like legal requirement. If the access is difficult then there should be a legal requirement that you have to have an inspection hatch, but... But, um, and a lot of uh, the sweeps, they don't know how to do them, so what they do is they just break the fibrics on the side, and then take it out like that, which you really don't need to do. But, as I was saying to the customer, it's, it's worked out well for him and me, because I wanted to do one of these. So. Because if you remember, the first thing you always do when you come across one of these types of woodworks is that you always take the grate out first in the middle. If you take the grate out, twist it around like I did, then what you'll find is that when you see there's nothing up here. When you when you when you um what you'll find is when you um take that grate out then you can lift that other bit, that big, you know, the, the, when I say great, the actual bit that goes around to make it a multi-fuel, if you take that piece out first, because of the way they're designed, because rem remember, everything that goes in, you know, a fitter, because I, because I was a fitter before, when I used to fit these, I used to put all that in, so anything that goes in can come out. So it's not like it, once it's in, it will never come out, that's not how they work. But like you, when you're dealing with sweeps only and um, and not fitters, then they're the ones that come unstuck and they go they they don't know what to do, but they don't want to lose the money of the job, so they do it the way that they do it that way, and um, and they basically they'll either break the, the bricks or they pretend they've swept it, and of course the next person that comes along, of course if you, if you um, got an inspection hat like this one has, if it's not being done properly. If it's been over tightened, which this clearly has. So what we'll have to do with this one from now on, which is not a problem. I won't be doing another video of, of this. 
because I just wanted to do one video of these so that you would know because I, I did a video of one of these ages ago a couple of years ago I think it was and it, the problem was was I didn't have um, a tripod for my phone to go on so I, I couldn't actually show you you know, I was trying to do everything with one hand like I was just trying to attempt to do then. But I showed you how to take the grate out, the movable one. And then what we're going to do is put everything back in. So take that out. And what we're doing is I've got loads of work on this afternoon. So it's a good job I got here early. And the customer's been an absolute star because, I mean, he would have never known any of this. So, this is the thing, it's like, um, I always think there should be a lot more information given to people when it comes to installations. There's a lot of stuff that they don't know that they should know, that they're never told. I think they should get like a DVD on, on all sorts of things about their appliance like when you're selling your property you know instead of just having the installation certificate and the certificate of sweep there should be like a little DVD to tell you how they work the do's and the don'ts you don't use them for a long time and it's been like we've had so much rain recently it's just unbelievable and it's it's the it's the driving rain and of course the driving rain in little Chinaman's hats they, they just run, they won't cut it. They won't stop the water. Some, some of them are bird dogs. They just, they just won't cut it. Especially on ones that you don't use a lot. But there's not boys about it. It's really quite crazy. But, you know, they're, they're still getting there. They're still learning. And this is a perfect example. So, which is great. I didn't want to keep boring you with the same content all the time. Yeah, just brush that off. Fill that bit of rope that's up there. It's just been literally just left there. I don't think where it went. Part of it's in. So I'm going to just let you listen. There you go. Hopefully, you heard that. that that's, uh, that's when you know it's all clear. You can hear the outside. But you're just there. So, I'm going to do is just going to hoover it all up. Now. I was doing any videos on the stove today. Just want to go easy on you. <laughs> I can't remember this month. It's wonderful. It's one I've done so far. I don't have a four to do today. It is that time of year, so, and I don't complain. It keeps the tax man happy. There are indoors. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, this back in there, this piece, put it all back the right way around. That, that's all the easy bits, these are the bits that the top bits and turn it off. Where's my torch? Okay, we've got that off to be honest. 
as you can see, see how rusty it's all got. Now we're gonna, um, my advice to the customer is he's, he's really going to need to get, get this going. He's going to sweat it out a bit. Really needs to. These should just sit on there like that, which it will do now. Just there's a oh, 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 you probably see it actually. Actually, no, you won't. Can you see where, where I put it? It just rests on that on, on there. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just put you back over here and I'll take it off. Let's see if I can do that at an angle. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to turn you upside down and around. Alright, so basically, this. Oh, it goes in there. Just there. You see that? You can see that bolt. That bit. Oh, that's a bit rusty enough to tidy that up. You know, that goes in there like that. Did you see how easy that went in? I'm just going to double check that you did see that. And I'll start, just lift off like that. And then I'm not even doing it. Um, I'm doing it for looking through the, the phone. And then that sits on there like that. And then you've got this bit. It's got brackets on the side. And then that goes in there. So a lot, lot, of, lot of these jobs all touchy feely. One of things. Which way around that go? It's so rusty. It goes the wrong way around. It goes around like that. See where that bit goes as well. See, see that plate. Just see them lips there on either side. It's a bit difficult to do this one. So hopefully you are getting the, the gist of it. If you ever get stuck with it, just let me know. It's very difficult. It's probably a job where you need two people to be actually doing it with you. And then, then this, then this bit goes up over there and you saw how this bit goes in and it just literally sits on there like that Let's go force it in there I'm, I'm going to try not to use double d wd-40 on it and the, the reason being is um i'm just going to stink when the customer lights the fire so I'm like what we do is I just make sure we get all the, the rusty bits out because um we don't want anything on the edges And it just sits on there, so what we do is you'll put one of these back in first. Obviously they're very self-explanatory. So I've just put one side in first. You don't need somewhere for it to sit. But as I said, a lot of people they just break these out, which is a nightmare. And then this one, as I said, it's self-explanatory as well. Look, it's got lips coming down here and around here. 
so obviously it's going to sit like that and, and all, with all the rust on the top of it you see all that rust and then you can see the lips on the sides around here and then that goes up which way around the boat Sometimes it's easier to put bricks in after so that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm starting to sweat now. just a minute ago. And look at her now. And believe it or not, this is the half bit. <laughs> this is the easy part. This is the bit of like, oh, we put it out. Obviously self-explanatory, which way it goes. That's where the grate will be. Now put that back into position like that. Now that it's not rusted onto it, I and mean, then what we do is we get the beast part. Make sure you get it the right way round, because on these they've actually got that. There's a there's a hole here on the side. Can you see that? Just along here. So obviously that's got to go on the same side as the as the bit that moves backwards and forwards. So you put it in at an angle like that. Put it into the into there. But make sure you get it in the right position. And obviously this bit goes at the front, so it's very self-explanatory to be fair. And then what we do is we get this part. What we need to do is make sure that with these, let's see if you can see inside. Let me turn you upside down again. These these bars. Can you see that? I'm going to go slowly at an angle see that bar the way it goes so you've literally got to fold that great round as you saw when I was doing it so make sure you do it the way right way round sometimes you need to take gloves off and you shall see and you get in the way sometimes and then you put it see, see with these they've got a hole there yeah see that hole there so obviously that goes into a the brake goes in and then you twist it and feed it around and voila and there you go it's done hey okay. and it's done look at that fantastic it's simple as that and then you can put the put the um ash pan back into place We'll heat that up a little bit, and we haven't even had to use any any WD-40. So remember, if you come across these ones with these bricks on the side, and you can't get the sides out, then what you got to do is you've got to take this off first. Take that off first, twist it round and take it off the bar that is connected to here and then, then you lift it out, take it out, lift, turn this to one side, take it out, then take the bricks out on both sides, take the, register, uh, the baffle plate out, drop that down and then you give you access to the two other baffle plates inside there and um, remember, like, because um, there's loads of rust, don't rub it with your hand on this, hoover most of it up and then just tidy it up, but banging it, I don't really like doing that, as you can see it's a slated half, but we did it gently and it's fine. So um, that is how you do these ones. I haven't finished yet, because I'm just going to give that pipe a little bit of a spray, so. 
Right, if you're ever spraying them, just to tidy them up, because I always bring a little stove paint with me. Give it a good old shake first, because you don't want any grits. And remember, this is a matte black finish. So we're just going to just tidy that up a bit. We don't want to get any on the old um, wall. Look at the difference already. We're just going to put a little bit on there. Don't go too mad. If you get a little bit of a drip, as long as it's a thin drip, it won't make any difference. And sometimes if you want to, you can just do that. Like that. Let it dry and then do it again. Just, just round the side there. Not bad for one hand, is it? And there you have it. I'm not going to do the top bit. Hopefully one day we'll be able to get that off. But, um, hang on a second. There you go, it's all done. I'll let the customer have that bit of paper that I've been using. There you go, look at the difference. That was a bit of a challenge, but it's all sorted now. Have a great afternoon from Zachary from Zachary Sweets.